You are welcome to another beautiful episode on Chat Circle. My name is Nana Abena. And I am Asian Unkut. Okay, so you know how we do it every Saturday on Chat Circle. We get to introduce or get to just do all the social media trends. What is happening with your favorites now? I know we've got, um, I think, just one, or should I say a couple? A couple of, a couple sad, of sad stories here, yeah, mm. which we're going to be reading. But it still doesn't stop us from letting you know what is going on in the social media world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Take okay. It away. <laughs> I take you away. <laughs> All right, now, first story on our social media trend. Now, this one is actually from the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu. Speaking at the press conference, Adelabu actually stated that there's no consumption management in the country. He also stated that people abroad know how electricity is managed, but the same is not replicated in Nigeria. He also claimed that some people turn on their air conditioner and freezers for days, even while not using them because of how cheap or should i say the low cost of electricity is in the country mm -hmm. now for me i actually grew up where we turn off things when we are leaving the house mm -hmm. like you don't leave anything on mm -hmm. and i think i grew up with it that even when i go to somebody's home and i see your sockets actually on or something on i just turn it off mm -hmm. it's so part of me mm -hmm. so when i came down here i noticed it was very normal mm -hmm. some people will turn on their air condition it will be on for it. there was a time i went to a hotel and I turned off everything when I was leaving. So from, some were like, ah, how do you turn off everything? They'll come and turn it off. They're like, it will take some time for, ten, for, them, sorry, for them to turn it off. So this is something that most of us grew up with. And I think he's kind of right. Outside there, they know how to do it. But I don't know about the low cost of electricity in Nigeria because the way we've been paying electricity every single time, I can't really relate very about the low cost. But I think people just need to get to the point where they need to learn how to manage or something like that. Okay, so first of all, mm. I do agree with him in mm. that we do not have consumption management. True. Everybody leaves things on. I didn't necessarily grow up that way, but now we're trying to do it. It's not even because of a PhD and now it's because of inverter that we're trying to turn mm. it off. But I'm sorry for him to say the low cost. Even before, you know, he's saying this as a reason why the tariffs have been so incredibly mm. increased. Even before that, I don't think it was low cost. Power management, we didn't do, yes, but I don't think it was cheap, like he said. Mm. But him now giving this excuse, okay, so let's, I feel like it's like them saying, let's raise the price. Mm. Since you people don't know how mm. to manage okay. power, let's raise the price so you know how to be turning on, uh, turning off AC, turning off a freezer, doing this and that, which I, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't have it in Yeah, just as today. you said, it's, it's not really, it's not, it shouldn't even be the major reason. Yes. Do you understand? But... The thing oh, is, God. I also feel like people should also learn how to turn off things. Oh, yeah, For I security agree. security reasons I and agree. also safety reasons. You shouldn't even leave your air conditioner on. You go out there and you be come a back. spark. Exactly. Something could, You're not even supposed I mean, to leave them mm -hmm. on. Even your fan, your lights at home. Probably maybe if you come in late in the night, the um, outside lights could be on. Mm -hmm. The security lights could be mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like there's some certain things that even as human beings, I know we need to right. be doing seriously. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how this will actually reduce the price. How of does this? This is not. So my own thing is this is not a valid excuse to tell us mm -hmm. why the tariffs. Like the tariffs shot up so well. But anyways, you know what was going through my mind as we we're talking about it. If you are watching this right now and you are not in your house, what have you turned on? What did you leave on in your house? Just let us know what you left turn on Turn on the microwave, house. turn on everything, right? Ah, who will leave microwave on? You want to die? Ah. No, the, I think most times, you know, the sockets, the lights, mm. the fans, and the ACs. Yeah, say freezer. we will leave microwave on. Don't worry. I'm going to say, how's you, are you, you open no, it? No, you no. still see the light inside the microwave. Oh, <laughs> that's what that I is mean. watching me. Oh, okay. <laughs> the socket. Okay. Now you are better at this thing than me. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next story. The federal government, in an ambitious move to revamp its national identity system, has announced plans to launch three innovative national identity cards for approximately 104 million citizens. Now, this is going to be um, going to be unveiling in May. And the cards were being introduced by the National Identity Management Commission, NIMSI, in collaboration with key financial and regulatory um, bodies. Now, it was revealed that the launch of the, um, the, launch of the bank enable national ID card, the social invention card, and then an optional ECOWAS national biometric identity card. This one I have been waiting for, the biometric card. And uh, was aimed at addressing various needs of the Nigerian populace. Now, just as I said, 
we are still waiting for when the president is actually going to approve it and they said somewhere around me i want to say something <laughs> do you remember when we were actually forming um, going like long queue trying to get our new thing ready and everything mm -hmm. how many days did you get you to get yours ready like the queue that's if I you can't actually... remember you mm, can't really remember, remember. Mm. now if we're going to be doing three cards in nigeria see i know in as much as the government want the best for us but when you set down rules do you actually make it make sure that think okay, about how it's how the follow through is going thank to thank you be. exactly that's what i'm trying to say right now for the biometric i think ghana is already using the but it's cool you can leave your um this one out there you, um the biometric actually works that is really nice for me but i'm still worried now and also for the bank one or should i say for the hospital does it even work um nana i don't even know what you are talking about you've lost me <laughs> my own is this why who oh why mm -hmm. do we need three cards we as as we are right now for identification whatever we have as we are right now we have the name we have the bv and as it means they said you to connect everything connect everything we have national passports uh, do we have national ID card? It's not different from you. Know, I think Nash we have national, we have national ID, ID card. So why are we reinventing your ID the card same too. thing? <laughs> why are we reinventing the same thing for Christ's sake? Abroad, they have one thing that can tie you. And Social security number, drop it. Your, your, they don't even do all these things. And even the new some license. of us are still holding papers. We've not even bought it. the actual card. Do you understand? So then... <sighs> You know Please. what? I don't know what's going on. How will we queue? I, I don't know. The queue. I don't know if I'm ready for that me. But let's see how it goes, Sha. But I'm not doing it. Whatever I'm just trying I to do, say, I'm whatever you it. are planning, whatever you are doing, make sure that everything is going to... That's the same way we had to form queue, trying to get new money. The country was trying it for how many months? At the end of the day, we still went back to old money. We formed Q for it. I'm still holding it. Some of us are still holding paper. <laughs> Please, whatever plans. We, we, we love that. We love the fact that you actually care about the country. But my major concern right now is just try to put things in order. Anyway, it's pending the president's um, mm. approval. I am hoping he doesn't approve it. I am not doing it. Even if they do it, mm. please, no. We, no. Let's move on, Nana, please. Wow. All right, moving on to another story. Now, sometime earlier this week, Funke Akindele breakdown, or should I say broke down in tears on Instagram live video. I don't know if most of you might have watched it. Yeah, we saw it. Where she was, or should I say she was actually responding to the allegation leveled against her, stating that she abandoned her former cast member, the late actress Jumo Ke. Now, a whole lot of backlash. It started with her brother, who came out trying to say um, you didn't answer her for I don't know whether she was sick. I didn't I don't really yeah, get the backstory. She wasn't when... feeling well and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Funke actually came out saying that she had no idea that the lady was sick. Mm -hmm. That there was got to a time where she actually had to ask another filmmaker or cast member that how far with the lady and he said he was going to check her. He went to check her and realized that she was not feeling. And he asked her, "What do you want?" And according to the lady, she only said all she needed was being on um on TV. Like, she introduced her to more um, opportunities and mm, all that. Mm, mm. So, I think I was trying to say, around that period, Tribe of Judah was the last project, she, project she did. And she had it. But she knew very well that she's been helping TikTokers. She's been working, helping a lot of people. So, this shouldn't be a reason for her not to even help somebody that she has been with for a very long time. Mm. That if she had an idea that this lady was not free. So, others started coming out saying, Fuka is a good person. She has helped the mother before. She has helped this, helped that. But I want to ask you a question. Do you think the brother like do you think it's entitlement do you what what is really your take on this i have been waiting for this moment Nana. yeah um first of all my condolences to the family because i yeah. know they just lost their sister she yeah. was just 40 years mm. old but i'm going to be blunt this level of entitlement, entitlement. we have as nigerians is appalling Okay, she worked with Funke. Was she working for free? Did they, did they not used to pay her for Jennifer? Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Did they not used to pay her? Okay, you said she should have checked up on her. Is Funke her mother? Is Funke her husband? That show is, Funke, the, is, break. Mm -hmm. is Funke her daughter? What is Funke to her? Does Funke not have her own issues to take up? Somebody said something on X and was like, during all this period, she was sick. Funke has dealt with an, an election that she lost. Funke has Marriage. dealt with a divorce. She lost Funke her has lost her mother. Who checked on Funke? 
Ogasa, your sister died and you had the F1 tree. The first thing you want to, I know when you are feeling your heart and your emotions are all over the place, but the first thing you want to do is go online and say, who didn't check on you? See, as I'm sitting down here and I, I use my life as an example, even I cannot sit down here and open my mouth and say my sister did not check on me because did I check on her? I, d I don't know. Maybe that's just how I live my life. But Nobody is. I, I'm not I've entitled got, to I've anybody's people, checking I've got, on. I've got friends that we don't check on each other. But, but we you're meet. still friends. You we are don't cool. attack anybody. Oh, you didn't check up on me. Because, because everybody understands life. You don't know. Life happens. meant is so... She said uh, she even hits him up. And he was like... He didn't even respond to her he, message. I, 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 and she was trying to even mm. let, him, um, let, let people know that. Do you know what I've also gone through in life? Do you understand? You understand? Who checked on her? See, people could uh, go and start back. We need to stop this entitlement thing. Who stop. checked on? Who checked on? It's Everybody not... is going through life. The fact that they hey. have money or they are doing well doesn't mean that. Let's they're forget not the fact that some people post things on social. They'll be laughing and smiling. That's them dealing with their little for that they are dealing with. All you can do is just say, oh, hi, what's up? What are you doing? It's been a while. Oh, half an hour. When are we hanging out? Check in on. Move what on. is Funke to her? Hmm. Funke is just her employer at a certain time. Is uh, Funke her mother? But let's anyways, move on to certificate no, of scholarship. Before we move on, though, <laughs> before we move on, if you are watching and you follow this story, let us know. Do you think Funke is entitled to cover if she has 1,000 staff? Do you think mm -hmm. she should check in on the 1,000 staff? Yeah. Or she should? Like, what do you think? Who is in the wrong here? The brother exactly. or Funke? Let exactly. us know that. Mm. All right, moving on to another story. Um, certificate of Scholarship Saga. I don't know if most of you followed. <sighs> the, um, I don't know how often some of you actually listen or follow up with the Daddy Freeze, um, his um, IG Live. I don't stuff. really follow. Okay, so this particular one, let me just say, it was out of curiosity. I said, "Make us see what did happen." So, um, as usual, now he normally invites people. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter is, I never knew people actually paid for all those sessions. I had no idea. Like Wait, people pay. Like the IG life he has with people, people actually pay for it. Oh, I didn't know. I that. had no idea. You know, like you understand. Oh, it's business. Then. Yeah. Okay. So there's this particular lady with the CSO stuff. Um, so C um, C COS certificate of scholarship. scholarship. Is that sponsorship. sponsorship? Sorry about that. Mm. So she came out and she wanted to talk about hairs, and you know mm. she didn't pay the full money that was agreed on. According to him, he even gave it her for free. So she, she paid pay the person who sponsored her. She didn't pay Daddy him. Freeze. Like, you know, it's a session. Oh, oh, You're supposed oh, to pay oh, for oh, it. Oh, oh, so he didn't oh. even charge her with the right amount that he normally charges people oh, on. Yeah. So she paid 150000 which was remaining a balance of, I think he was supposed to charge a whole 200 and something. You understand? She now, after the whole stuff, thing. according to him, he said she didn't even give more information on the on what her project is all about and everything. You understand? Yeah. So later, she called him and said, okay, do you know what? Drop that video that she's not really interested so he archived it he, like he dragged like you know when you don't want to post something mm, later yeah but luckily the lady came out with some different stories and all that so luckily he was saying he was going to repost the video because he's very lucky he did not what delete it at that moment but mm. let's move away from that that is not really the whole while now it got a lot of people coming out attacking him on so many stuffs so he came out with where he talked about the fact that he will contact the UK authorities to stop issuing certificates of sponsorship to Nigerians. How did it go from them not paying him to this? Is it an attack at the lady? Was the lady sponsored to the UK or something? No, you know this certificate of um, Hanukkah sponsorship, you know what it's all about, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So I think, according to he feel like some people were also, um, should I say, some people went in illegal with education, mm -hmm. with everything. Mm -hmm. So probably so that was how the conversation just turned out, turned out, turned out to be. So now, after he came back apologizing, saying he has no power in terms of bringing Nigerians who relocated oh, to the I UK saw that video and I was like, which power? I'm sorry, sir. The way he was saying it, as if you have the embassy in your back pocket. But okay, whatever. I know people are Japan. People are doing what they want to yeah. do, what is best for them. But that's their business. However, they get <laughs> Because you're actually going to... No, this, I feel, a part of me is feeling like this is not going to sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just feeling that the UK government is still going to do a follow-up on this. I just like that they, guy... I don't think they will. Just like that guy who was um, telling us how people travel and everything. You remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just having that feeling. The though, thing because <laughs> I, 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 I don't like it when people... the question is, do you have proof? I don't like it when people want to be right. When one, they want to show themselves. You now do something that will affect so many other people. Exactly. Because if, already we've heard everything they're doing. They're raising visa fees. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're saying don't bring dependents. They're doing this. Things are already hard. 
things are already the loops are already plenty for people to jump exactly. over so you are saying more things to make them even look again at the ones that's they what i'm saying i'm just held. feeling that and the way he was like putting body you don't know the story. uk you don't know the uk i don't know this man i do not oh, i was watching the video he was like you don't I'm know like, i know people in the uk I, like who do you know are you do you go to number 10 downing <laughs> what is the the posturing was too much for me but okay. good luck to him and to all he no no good luck to him I didn't even know people pay for those sessions. I, mean, I didn't even know. It makes it makes sense now. He's yeah. making money from it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on from some of the um, you know, <laughs> serious <laughs> kind of serious. Well, this is still a serious thing. Yeah. All right. So um over the week, um the owner of Airpiece, that is Mr. Allen Oyema, he came out and he was saying something about the massive price slash that foreign airlines all of a sudden have done so he said something about the fact that since epis we all we talked about it last week where their prices were so low most foreign airlines now crash their prices some some went from like 17 million nana to 5, 5 million, million despite the fact that the dollar did not change you remember that's the excuse they used to give us that it's dollar you know mm -hmm. so he said that they are slashing their prices because they are trying to push a piece out uh, out of you know business so the and then he's now saying it. if we now run back to those airlines and they find out they finally push a piece out of business next time they'll raise it 20 times and i'm inclined to believe because why are you all of a sudden, you know, um, Reduce reducing it. your so that price? that means the dollar was never the problem. Exactly. You were just doing You it. know, but however, people on Twitter are having, a BX, are having, a, someone is saying, I'm going to go for the cheapest. Like, I understand you wanting to go for the cheapest, but at the same time, I feel like we should support Airpiece. Because these people paid us dust mm -hmm. when the prices were so high. They did not do it. They did not care. All of a sudden, you, it didn't even take two weeks. All of a sudden, Another person is flying the same route, and you people say, exactly. slash your prices from exactly. 17 to 5 million because you want to compete. They know we are their market. I wish we could stand firm. I think, on I think, this. I think we, um, in as much as you're going for something cheaper, just as you said, yeah. now these guys had our back even when, because at some point, those of you who travel to your UK, you saved a lot of um, pounds or you saved a lot of money. These guys Osmani just had your back at some point. So I don't see the reason you would say, okay, fine. Because the other flights have reduced their prices, that's the reason mm. you have. But mm. at the end of the day, <laughs> Airpiece is Airpiece. And I know that they're just going to be fine. That's one thing I'm sure of. Mm -hmm. And then speaking about Airpiece too, there was also another um, story that was trending where people were talking about the uniforms of the oh, answer. you see how good the now, native uh, this thing. I didn't see anything wrong because most of these they countries... They say that they're promoting... It. See, let's not even go into it. Why do we make everything about tribal? tribal? Like, because even these people in the Arab country... Emirates, which, they wear their thing. Um, I don't know if you've seen a, a, seen a Malaysian mm. airline or a Thai airline. I'm talking about the ones I mm. know. They wear something that is kind of, you can see, it's not necessarily traditional, but it's something. This one even carried the material and showed blazer. This is even uh. nice. Like, it's so, I've not seen it in person, but me seeing it even on uh, the picture. Exactly. It's beautiful. Mm. Forget the whole tribal thing. Like, oh, things are big. A big, a big, a big, a big. <laughs> Anyways, maybe let's... they should put on, um, maybe half will be Yoruba. Uh, we don't even know if he had plans today they wear something Igbo Thank tomorrow you. they'll wear something Yoruba tomorrow they'll wear something Hausa so, yeah, Ma, you've yeah. done very well he's done you've very done well very please well let's it's, rally yes. around if the price I, I feel see personally if I want to go to London and I see like let's say BA is doing let me say 700 pounds and Epis is doing let me say 750 pounds I'll go with Epis I won't even lie but it's also not um, a reason for them to slack they now have to you know, you can compete in other ways. Look at your services and, you know, find ways to still elevate your services so that people will be more drawn it's to business, you. It's business, mm, It's business. <laughs> Anyways, this week, if you were on X, Nigerians went into a tailspin after one X user said something and it entered into a war of words. So X user Paul G tweeted, someone sent me a cold email proposing a novel project. Mm -hmm. Then I noticed the word, uh, the use of the word delve. He went on to say that that word signified to him that that person is using um, chat um, um, mm -hmm, AI, basically. Mm -hmm. So automatically, that there are certain words that when you use, people automatically write off your project or your proposal. Anyway, because of the amount of people who chimed in, they use words, someone chimed in and said other words like demystify, safeguard, mm -hmm. nana safeguard, and so many other words. People now started feeling, okay, you are targeting this as what people look at as non 
traditional English speakers. So trust Nigerian Twitter. I think there was we, a lady that actually said if words like that are on her table, she's not going to look at it. I that, that she's not even X. yeah 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 she's yeah, not even going me, to yeah. she's not even going to look at it. But she was corrected because someone stepped in. Nigerian Twitter are rules. Of course, there were people, parts where people were serious and were like, mm. these are the people that you are trusting your project to, and they think that you using the word delve. Somebody was even saying it's even delve that he's talking about something that we you know. In school, you had bombastic. Yeah. So many other words that we had, and it was normal for us to hear. The cruise part was there, but the other part was also there where people were talking about the fact that we are the ones who have to write uh, I L E S C TOEFL, all those English mm -hmm. tests to go into their school. Yes, that same words like Delve as a big thing. And <laughs> actress Jemima even said, "Safeguard is literally the name of a soup in Nigeria." What are you talking about? Which is oh yeah, true. it's true. Actually. Yeah, which is true. Yeah, you know. And then of course the but, but I'm okay. When you told me about this story, mm -hmm. now I'm I was like every year or should I say every second, new words keep coming up every mm -hmm. single time. Mm -hmm. So if these words could be a reason for you not to want to check out somebody's project or employ someone you think you're using exactly from... what are we really talking you also mentioned terry on me trying to explain to them about something no no that was actually a video from mm. the um the champions league and on a presentation we had three english by okay. english i mean caucasian okay people you know and they mentioned the word inculcate oh one of them said they've never heard that word in their lives before the Inco other Kate. lady tried to kate i think what if she in call exactly they're from english england that's in english and the other lady was trying to explain it at a point thierry henry who is a french with african descent oh is the one gosh. who stepped in and even used it in a sentence so we're like this video is coming at a very very appropriate time because we're, the debate is still going on that guy has been racialed on x like mad in debate is still going like I you feel some people think it's discriminatory because you don't know how we speak english we actually speak english very yeah, well i think the, and, somebody actually talked about it mm -hmm. personally Nana, i won't even lie to you when i was growing up i read a lot of novels so sometimes i may not even be able to pronounce the word mm -hmm. but because of how it was used in the novel when i come across the word again i know you exactly what, what it means and nine times out of ten in fact i don't want to be arrogant i'll say ten times out of ten when i try i use that word and then I'm like, mm, something like, just check it to see if you're using it in the right context. Mm. I check. I'm always correct because we read a lot and we yeah. knew a lot of words. But, but my major concern still on this is the fact that if you are not ready to accept even the new words that are coming in and everything. Because you feel it's too this, advanced. Like, for instance, this generation, Gen Zs, are always bringing new words that lately is really becoming normal in a conversation or sentence. But if... You don't want to then it's, it's just such I, a it's such a it's such a tricky slope because mm -hmm. these are the people that you are that are reading your thesis if you are studying abroad yeah. these are the people that are supposed to they're supposed to quote <laughs> unquote they feel like they know more but at the end of yeah. the day you know someone to joke someone said on x that nigeria uh, sorry americans won't score seven in a TOEFL exam and I was like you're actually right they think they own English language but we're actually better at them because as usual black mm -hmm. people have to work twice as hard yeah to get half of what they yeah. get so okay so if you're watching you could share your experience with us have you actually ever been in that position where your choice of words the reason you're not employed or your project was denied mm -hmm. to share with us let us know what you think mm -hmm. All right, let's um, talk about AY now and his wife, who over the week... Another breakup. Yeah, they both confirmed that Frank Edward that said you should be hiding your families. their okay. relationship, I won't call it marriage, they've been married for long, but... 20 total, years. To, no, no, they've known each other for 20 years, but I think they've been married for like maybe 17 or so. But in total, lot. 20 years has come to an end. He shared a post and then she shared a post. <laughs> And then everybody's now talking. And I see, I see. Allegedly, the streets are talking. Let me tell you what the streets are saying. Allegedly, the streets are saying that Mr. Ewa used to step out and Miss Mabel is tired of the stepping out. There's even another story. But remember, it's there off camera. Out, you, you know, he's doing the boom shakalaka with somebody who is not Mabel. I mean, you know, and Mabel is tired of the stepping out and then she you know mm. made her way out so many people had so many the way he posted his own he tried not to he was he was saying a lot without saying too much but you know what i noticed when mabel posted her own the amount of time she used exos when i was like power to you power to you i don't know if you noticed she wanted to be clear that me and him are not anymore but respect our privacy we're still going to co-parent well it's quite sad because well, they had their baby over a little over two years ago yeah. after how many years of not having a child 
and it was such a joyous moment and uh, for me the truth is when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to most of these celebrities and the uh breakups i think i'm not gonna lie i'm so sorry but i'm not going to be incentive but i think i'm kind of tired i'm t- kind of low-key tired of it because you have been like desensitized. i feel like you people bring it out too much you're selling too much i don't know because now first of all another thing is your daughter is like 16 years old she's oh, literally 17. reading 17. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she's literally reading everything so how families and everything i just want the celebrities under each of them be opposed trying to be supportive and everything i was like if you stay one place like you're here stay you're there, stay okay here. so you feel they shouldn't tell us they've broken up why are you telling us see this is why they're telling you so tomorrow when you see mabel with one young sprig you will not say she's chasing no, on anyone first, uh, first of all i don't know like much about her but then mm. i don't even mind it's not my they're talking I think... wise on my when it comes the only thing is like okay you come and do your comedy and your show that's it that also matters to me i feel like when it comes to celebrities i'm so sorry no i'm not being insensitive but i think it's it's what you provide for me on this one is what no, you don't go at. to look for it right no, you, you you're can, not from me but mm, now some people are yeah never. exactly <laughs> now when i saw this news it was sad yeah it's sad for a family mm. like just as you said 17 20 years it's a lot of years for you to sit there and say okay what should we do but the question is we don't even know if they've tried trying to work it out or they've tried doing something by the end of the day, just as they said, give them some space. They need their privacy. Yeah. Let them work on it. And um, wish while them all their best. W- while they're working on it, I'll, I would like to announce that I and my household, we are Team Mabel. <laughs> I knew you were going to take it part. I knew you were going to take it Why, why wouldn't I, I just, take it? I just had a feeling. Why, why wouldn't I take it? Because I just had... It's good. Women's why women's won't women. I? Please leave me alone. Please wish you all the best and you guys, your... Yeah, your but should I give them privacy? Necessary blog. If you don't have the facts, do not say. Shall I give them the privacy. So, so, I, was a statement. I was so annoying. I'm sure I was on radio on TV. Then I was like, and then you will become a side chick or side chick. Side chick. Yeah, I was like, I I mean, it's like, please. Yeah. Do you have to buy data and talk like that? And even if she decides to do that with her life, what exactly is your business? Yeah, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. All right. So next on our social media trend, and this one is actually from media personality or Sinachi, where she said, "I don't understand why." A man I am in a relationship with who claims to love me would be upset if I showed up unannounced at his house. Unless there's something he's hiding. Mm. I'm in a relationship with. I understand See, uh, it. Me? But I, okay, finish us. I understand what she's saying. Mm. But at the same time, I do not like showing up to people's houses without calling them. Thank you. At the same time. It's just like me doing a video call with you. I have to ask you, like, are you free? Can we do a video call? There are people who even do video call. Me, I'll just watch it ring. I because know. what business do you and I have? I'm going to your call? house. My husband is different. It doesn't mean that my boyfriend is cheating on me. Mm. But mm, I, I feel there's some wiggle room when it. Le- there's wiggle room when it has to do with boyfriend. If I have the key to my boyfriend's house, mm-hmm. I think that's different. If I don't have the key, that's different. If I have the key, that's no, open okay, invitation to go Okay, you have the key. Anyhow. Hi, babe. What's up? Are you home? No, I'm not home. All right, I'm just going over. Mm. Mm. I don't see anything wrong. Mm. Hi, like... But it, whatever the case may be, if you're in a relationship with someone and you go to their house unannounced, they're not supposed to be that upset. Why didn't you say Okay, they're okay, not supposed to be upset like mm. that. But see, then you say, the, okay. why didn't you tell me you were coming? Okay, no problem, you are here. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? And then you go, go, go. That is when alarm, mm. like, you're like, okay, is there anybody there? Is there But in actual sense, I personally, I just feel like it's okay I to call ask. people to before you go yeah. to their house. Yeah, I, don't know how to, I don't know. I don't even know how to budget the people's space. <laughs> but anyway, let us know. Which one is it? Do you call your man before yes, you go exactly. to their do house? You, do you? You know, do you? Yeah, and then just to let you know, a quick one, you can actually watch us live on dstv on channel 258 mm-hmm. and also on channel 140 on start times okay you can actually share your view and all that too mm-hmm. okay all right we also have another thing here from dr ola okun sorayan he says if you keep to time all the time and never run late to appointments oh, you must be a very poor person because you have nothing to do if you're a rich person there's no way you won't miss appointments or run late and i'm here did to you watch tell that? you did you, did you watch that episode no, I didn't watch that episode. episode. Whatever the case is, I'm here to tell you that, doctor, you are very, very wrong. You are very, very wrong because 
I, I, t I take this very personally, Nana, because I'm somebody who keeps to time to a T. It has nothing to do. I don't have anything to do because as far as I'm concerned, whether what I have to do is running a Fortune 500 not... country, uh, company or having what I have to do is watching Netflix, it has nothing to do with me keeping to time. When I have somewhere to go and I intend to keep to time, I keep to time by managing my time. So, I saw some of you, your comments on under the post. Oh, yes, it's true. Da, da, da. Should be that dream job you've applied for, eh? Mm -hmm. Be late and tell them that, eh? Give them an excuse mm. so that they'll make you look like you're a very busy person. Mm, you're a very poor person. You're yes. very, you have money in just, your account. Just do it. Run late just to do the it. job. Just do it. you. you have money to you in your account. Can you be late? And mm. you see, eh? You see, that's what I'm saying. Some people just open their mouth and that, go, wow. that, 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 that times that's... <laughs> Some podcast, I don't know, they have to just ban podcasts in a way. They, not in a way. Hey. Maybe know they sell podcasts, my give people again. Everybody uh, is talking too much. Even when he said it, Nedu was just it. <laughs> um, I knew very much to start with Andrew now. People hear himself like, say what? Say yeah. what right now? Another podcast also this week that made waves is uh, Tolani Bages and um, Moa Bates yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, podcast also where they had media personality Shade Ladipo on. And among all the things she said, if a man wants me to cook for him, he has to meet me halfway. Nana, I know you have something to say, but before you say it, I'm so tired of this cooking conversation. I'm, I'm tired of it in general. Mm -hmm. Like I'm us making it either a standard or a guideline or it is mm. maybe because I have a personal bias, mm -hmm. but I'm just that uh, we are making it an issue. I'm trying not, I'm, I, I want a situation where it is no longer an issue, but we keep making it an issue. Okay, so she wants her man to meet her halfway. I don't know if she means like she'll be cutting the tomatoes while she's cutting the onion, or maybe he should be staring and then while she's pouring water or something like that. I don't know. But this stuff, for me, I feel that it's a conversation between <coughs> you and your partner. Aside that, you should know the person you are you are marrying. If you date somebody who is not really a kitchen person, a man who tells you that he's not into a kitchen, into the mm. kitchen, this kind of stuff, I think you should know that from the beginning. You shouldn't mm. force him going halfway for you. Me, the truth is, I don't know the kind of conversation people now have in their relationship. Because lately, eh, the way society is going, me, I have every right to even ask you about certain things, about um, cross-dressing, cooking, everything, for you to give me your view and tell me what you think about them. Then from there, we can add okay, fine. But halfway i don't know sure but, I but she also said something in the same podcast where she said you know about these things about respect that, that, mm. that, that there's a way a man treats a woman and the woman will just do anything for you mm. which is also true so i don't know which one is halfway or <sighs> i just don't want to have the cooking conversation your family really is going to be do. fine I really don't want to have the cooking family conversation. Will be fine. Mm, everybody, will be so fine. each their own. Yes. Anyways, on our final story for this social media trends today, this Ooh. is a sad one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We heard of the loss of earlier this week. Earlier this week, mm. um, actor um, Junior Pope. He was on. I think he was coming back from a shoot that they had, yeah. and they were in a boat. Mm. Him, some other crew members, makeup, sound technicians, where the boat capsized, and you know, people drowned. Now, the whole process of them recovering his body, taking his body to the mortuary, moving from the mortuary to to a, a ritualist or herbalist, and then saying he's dead, he's alive, and then he's dead again. That whole entire process. First of all, condolences to his family because he has left a wife and young children at home. We're not even talking about the other people who lost their lives as of... Um, you very know, young people too. very young people who lost their lives i don't know this story is sad but at the same time i'm also very angry because of the way everything was handled there's yeah. so many people at fault here so many people at fault before he even died he had posted a video where he showed uh, he's crossing with river Ooh, without life jackets they had no life jackets what's the process i think all these people doing as i would they have to look into what the, the safety Absolutely. of their of their crew members, their artists on going to getting to set on the set, mm -hmm. doing this and that. They have to look into it. Yeah. Okay, so um, just as she said, it's pretty sad. Story is really sad, and you know when certain deaths happen, and then you are like, this could be avoidable. Avoidable. That 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 was it. Now, in as much as first of all. You, the, let's start. Let's start from the from the the the, the scene itself. That's the um the no producer. Let's start. Yeah, the producer and them. Mm. In as much as if the boats 
or the company or boat or whoever they're actually in charge they didn't provide you guys with life jacket but you yourself as adults or you the woman or whoever is in charge of that scene or who instigated that could have suggested a who life in charge of logistics for exactly this mm -hmm. exactly because that's where you come in logistic that is mm -hmm. your job you understand? How are you trying? How are you getting to the exactly. set? You are using a boat. Now, Do you people, people have... bringing him down. That was one was when we got to know that percentage, a huge number of percentage of Nigerians, we don't really know. We are not educated when it comes to CPR. Supposed to give somebody Enough. space. Supposed to do this. Supposed to do that. People had no idea. We were still in between. You understand? Now the others that it couldn't find your body. Yes, we are hopeful. I don't. I'm just going for some miracle that will no, happen. No, there's no. They're gone. <laughs> now. You people later took him to the mortuary where the mortuary attendant said. Allegedly, because Allegedly, all these things were exactly. not really sure. Exactly. So you actually <laughs> took him and he was like, oh, the guy is still alive. Or alive. Now, you people said you saw his finger moving. That was when you were supposed to give him space for air. Not so first space thing. for air. CPR? Who? Why? Yeah, CPR. CPR. First thing you were supposed to do, just, okay, fine. CPR, take him to the hospital ASAP. Yes, tradition. But, you see... Tradition and when people are religion. You know, just like for tradition example, somebody, and religion. Yes, yeah, tradition and religion. Somebody will be like, um, God said I should stay there. He's going to God didn't tell you to do that. God, God didn't tell you not help to those move. who help themselves. Faith you could have just helped not. exactly. You could have just taken this guy to the hospital, still come back and do your rituals and things that you guys needed to do and all so, that. So my thing is this from the point where he was brought out of the river, basic the most basic life sec saving technique is CPR. You do three, uh, 30, you breathe, you make sure his airway is clear. That wasn't done. And then you people do all this parambulating. Yes, you have. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry. It may be an unpopular opinion, but this is my opinion. Religion will be our downfall. People started saying they should pray. People were praying in all the videos we saw, but nobody was doing life-saving techniques. How? Who is going to make sure the water that he has swallowed comes out? What were they doing? Nothing. You see, there's a sketch you people have been taking your children to drink companies to and then where to supermarkets as a sketch. This is a time you guys need to start taking children. I think growing up, eh, they taught us how to use a fire extinguisher. It mm -hmm. was like every month, these guys were the fire service company were always coming to our school. This every is, month, CPR like it was be instead of scrap, exactly. scrap some subject life and skills. Do life health. skills was compulsory in our curriculum in school. I don't know about right now, you understand. Yes, I know there are some certain things even me as an individual I can't do, and I feel so ashamed about it. But what I'm trying to say is right now, for our kids growing, just like for instance, we're watching one video where a lady slashed her friend's arm. And you people, we had like more than six or seven women in the room who had no idea how to stop the blood, and she died. That was training on social media. So I think it's high time we train our kids. It's high time we take certain things. The education people have been taking most of them to all these kind of places. They're not helping. Take to airports. Exactly. Take to cinema. Exactly. Take them to places, um, hospitals, school, like um, all these um, fire service people, life skills, life that let, We need to teach all these kind of things. This there is, there is an organization where in Portacol, I don't know if they still do it, that they have people. That's why I did my AD certification slash CPR. I feel organizations like that, the people that they should be keeping in, in employment, send them out to schools to do classes once a term. At you most, should. once a term, go to school, secondary, even um, upper primary school, once a term. They come in with the AD machine, they come in with um, bus, both for the baby, both for the adult, and show you how to actually do CPR on somebody. Like, that's what should be done. Those are institutions like that. I forgot what it's called now, but institutions like that is what we should be keeping in business. Pay them. They send their instructors and their tools out. Go. I went to Portaco to do my own. Go all these places and do this. Because nobody in that video had any self-awareness. First of all, the whole entire crowd around him. Where do you want? How do you want? Who is managing this scene? Ah, no ambulance. See, oh, no, there are no, so many no things ambulance. that are wrong. Oh. There's nobody, no emergency, no ambulance that could have been called. This is why there's all, the conversation has been raised now on Twitter. And people are saying this is why when people say when you make a so so so, so amount in Nigeria, it's better than you going to make in dollars. People don't move abroad because of money, not necessarily. They move abroad because they know if it cut like this, but emergency services but are there. As as Your you life also can want be to move. The question is, you also know some of the life skills. This is not about mm. traveling, Asian. 
It's not about traveling. But also, now, now let me say Forget this. Forget about the father. Some yes, of the things I like know, I, 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 I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but some of the things I know, I feel that we don't also put... Everybody says, mm, I don't want to be the one to do it. Though. Mm. If you were at a scene like that, would they, I don't want to be the one to be before they say it to me. My I, thing is this. We watch movies a lot. You know that when things happen... I'm watching, is it Baywatch or what's... We are watching Baywatch or all these beach beach movies. It's not the even, moment somebody is dragged out of this... And, this guy, the live guy, at CPR, CPR, CPR whether I know you, I don't know you. want know. them to cough out what... See, we watch movies Well, anyway, we the won't have this of the, the thing sla sla slashing, you know that anytime anybody's bleeding, if it's in, from a main artery, you should know where the main arteries are. You should tie so that blood doesn't... No. See, this is not the first time. Even I think you even narrated one story in America. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, in, uh, it was still on a movie mm. set. I think that was so many over over before COVID, so a long time ago, mm. on a set of a movie called Ross, Alec Baldwin, which we all know he's a big actor, mm. somebody who was supposed to, there had a prop, there was a gun on the set. Do, for some, whatever reason, they were supposed to have a prop gun, but they had a real life gun. And she, he shot, you know, he's doing his acting now. Yeah. He shot and he killed the cinematographer and the director was injured. This match, uh, this match that just mm. passed, their case was actually in court in January. And this match, they actually ruled um, he was charged for manslaughter, and the person who was in charge of the armory, that's the props, the props relating to mm. firearms, was also charged. So his charges were dismissed, but the other lady, Hannah Reed, she was uh, convicted of manslaughter, yeah. but they now dropped the evidence because of lack of evidence. And the she same way that is going to happen to this mm -hmm. producer also. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I was actually saying earlier that why do actresses feel like they also have to be producers? Because you went to a film school, so you feel you could also be a producer. Now, from the Actors Guild of Nigeria, they actually came out with a letter yeah, earlier this today. week where they were also saying that all, um, all films that involve riverine areas and boats riding... Suspended. I was like, now. why did it take you so long for people to make this rule? Now, another rule to they said no shoot on location nationwide, on, uh, which happened, of course, on Thursday. Then also they talked about the film titled Another Side of Life is suspended indefinitely. No she actors is definitely not allowed to work with Adama Luke as a producer to further notice and then while we keep searching for the bodies of uh, the others yeah that's what they talked about i'm just like <clears throat> this story if she was outside the country uh, it's going to be really dirty yeah if so many people would have been mm. so many people and would i love the way that Niger nigerians are like nobody is uh, like should i say taking out anything out of this this this, this situation Seriously, it's quite sad. This is so because rest this in is peace. a death that did not need to happen. Seriously, I just pray his wife, his kids are able to. I try. God. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, there's somebody will come out and say that should take off the wife and children. Like, I'm literally case, hearing. You know, he has this husky voice. I'm literally like hearing it all the time. But anyway, I guess that is it today on Chat yeah. Circle. Yeah. <laughs> if there's more on the story, we yeah, will we'll definitely update you next you week. Exactly. But yeah, that has been our show for today. Mm -hmm. We're sorry we have to end on a sad note. But yeah, we hope earlier on you had fun with May us. I just hope that our last part about you taking, even if the school will not do it, you yourself as individual. You YouTube, go vacation. to YouTube. Go to vacation. YouTube. Vacation, don't you let them sit at home. You so much on mm -hmm. YouTube. Exactly. All right, it has been a good one. My name is Nan Abena. And I am Asian Kut. Make sure you have yourself an amazing weekend. And ciao for now. We'll see you next week on DSTV channel 258 and on Star Time channel 140. Ta-ta. Bye. <laughs>